This is a Blue Streak Echo series comparison video. Uh, the, I'm going to talk about why we're going to compare these two sweepers, and you're going to see the comparisons in the videos later on. But the reason we chose these sweepers is because they have a similar sweeping width. This one's they got a 24 inch wide magnet, we call it a 26 inch uh, sweeper. This one's got a 24 inch magnet, and they call it a 25 inch sweeper. So the sweeping widths are comparable. They both of them have some type of release mechanism for cleaning them off. The price points are similar and they both serve the same industry, so that's why we're going to compare these two sweepers for you. So both of these are aimed at the roofing industry? Both of these sweepers are aimed specifically at the roofing industry. And that's the end of uh, this part of the video. This is the Blue Streak Equipment Magnetic Sweeper Comparison Test. We're going to compare the Blue Streak's Echo 26 Magnetic Sweeper to a leading competitor's model that's commonly seen. What we've done with the uh, Blue Streak sweepers, we've just stripped it all down. We've taken the handle off so we can just get it down in the video and I can stand behind it basically. And the same thing as the competitor sweeper, what we've done is we've just taken the handle off. It just inserts the back so you can better see what we're doing. So we're going to start the height comparison. And what I've got is just a standard two and a half inch nail. And I'm going to slide it underneath each sweeper and I'm going to raise the height up until one sweeper will pick the nail up and the other one won't. So this is going to be the Echo first. You can see it picked up the nail no problem. We'll go over to the uh, competitor's model. You can see it picked it up. It makes a nice big impressive bang sound just due to the fact that the bottom of the housing is so thin. What we'll do is we'll go ahead now and lift them up. We'll lift them to two and three quarter inches. And we've got our same nail again, and I'll slide it underneath the Blue Streak Echo. It picks it up no problem. Competitor sweeper at two and three quarters. Picks it up all right. We'll go ahead and raise them up again. Now both of the uh, sweepers are at three inches. We'll do the blue streak first. Now we'll go over and do the competitor's model. Oh, looks like it's having some trouble. I think that's about the limit of the competitor sweeper. The magnetism doesn't hardly seem to be even affecting the nail at this point. Oh, there. pretty poor and I'll just show you the, uh, the blue streak sweeper again so it seems to pick it up without any problems now since the competitors model stopped at three inches we'll continue to raise the uh, echo series sweeper that's three and a quarter picked it up Raise it up again to three and a half. I've got the piece of paper here just so my nail slides across the styrofoam if you're wondering why I'm doing that. Now that picked it up at three and a half, so we'll go ahead and raise it to three and three quarters. The sweeper's still picking it up. We're three quarters of an inch is tall, taller than the uh, competitor sweeper. Now we'll raise it up to four inches. And that's the limit. The blue streak will pick it up at three and three quarters. And the competitors will pick it up only at three inches. And uh, that's the end of this segment of the comparison video. This is part two of the Echo series comparison video. What I've gone and done is I've taken these units partially apart. All I've, in the last video, seen that this was just assembled in the tray when we were doing the height pickup test. And uh, all I've done is I've taken it out of that tray and I've removed the end cap that's pressed into the end of our unit. 
on the competitor's unit, I've gone and I've disassembled one of the end caps already. I'll go ahead and take off the other end and sort of just keep talking as I'm doing it. What you can see what's going on on the inside here is if you see how this, this end cap is in, installed in the magnet, where these two little holes here line up, the, this, the magnet bar attaches to it there. So that the when this when this gets assembled, those two holes are attached to these. So the magnet is very it's really far forward in the assembly. So what happens is when you've got some, when you pick up a small screws or something like that, oops, I'm picking up other debris here. So you, your debris gets stuck to it, and your this unit pushes this direction in the grass. So what happens is as you're going along in the grass. It pushes that screw over the magnetic field, and you can see it's getting—it's just fall—it's just falling off. So what happens when you're going through the grass, and that's happening? The nails that you're picking up are actually just falling right off the sweeper. Whereas, if you have a look at the blue streak model, what I've got is just a part of our sweeper that hasn't been assembled yet, and I've got our magnet assembly, and I'm just going to set it in so you can see. A view looking in through the end where I've got the plate on the plates removed on this piece here. And so you get your debris stuck to it. So you're coming along and you pick up your debris and it gets pushed along. And as it gets pushed along, it wraps it up around the back and it stays attached to it. And while this piece is still attached to it, the, the face of the magnet can continue to keep picking up more debris. So you, see, you can see how when you're going through the grass, and what do you if, call that? That's called a wraparound feature, and most of our handhelds do have that feature that are recommended for grass applications. So I'll go ahead and I'll further disassemble the competitor's unit here, and you can see how that is a real superior feature to have, because if you're, if you're buying this and you're roofing with it, and you're picking up roofing nails and they're falling off as you're trying to pick them up, well, that's, that's almost not good for anything. All you're going to have is your last couple of nails that you just happen to snap up before you stopped pushing in. So I'll go ahead and take apart the back half of this sweeper and I'll pull the magnet out and I'll actually show you the difference in the magnet assembly size. So what I'll do now is I'll pull this magnet assembly out. This is the magnet assembly that can you see how small this housing is? Like how large this housing is compared to this magnet assembly that's in here. Like it's almost ridiculous. And you can see how, how thin the bottom of this housing is. And that's why it makes a real, a real impressive noise when you're picking stuff up as opposed to ours. So you can actually see the difference in the thickness of the aluminum on the two different housings to the quality of the material that you're getting. This is probably about 60 thousandths thick where this is 125. Now the two magnet assemblies, this is the unit that came out of the competitors. You can see it's just got these small blocks that are spaced out. And the problem with spaced out magnets is they don't create a very even field. You see how my nail's snapping from pole to pole. It wants to pull just into the center. Where you don't, where you don't have it in the middle, it's not as prone to pick up the, de pick up the debris because of that. Because it wants to really pick it up in its strong points, which are the center of the poles, as you can watch this nail as I'm pulling the nail by the by the magnet. So if you see our magnet, now unfortunately this one's not charged. I should have did that for the video. This is a magnet similar to what's in our scape, but the one in the, uh, or sorry, the Echo. But the magnet in the Echo is a little bit, it's six inches longer than this, and we just didn't have any parts in stock since we're doing this video. But uh, when you get the magnet assembly, Right now this magnet assembly is in this housing and you take the nail along it, you can see how smooth and even the magnetic pull is. Because our magnets are not spaced out as their magnets are. The, the magnet assembly that's in this scape is the exact same dimensions. It's 2 inches wide by 1 inches high. Now it's 24 inches long. This one's only an 18 inch. This is just an assembly out of another part of ours. But you can see the difference of the quality of those two fields just by looking at that. And not only that, you can look at the significant size difference between these two magnets. You're getting almost twice the volume of magnets 
in our sweeper versus the competitors. So the Echo is one inch high by two inch wide by 24 inch long? Yes, and this, this assembly itself is only 18 inches just because we just happened to grab the wrong part. Now if you can hold on a second, I'll grab a measuring tape and actually show you the difference between the two, uh, the two separate magnets. So you can see the blue streak magnet is two inches by one inch thick and it's got a steel backing plate behind that. Now this one is just is only 18 inches long but the one that's in the Echo is 24 inches however. And what about this? And the competitor sweeper it looks like it's one and three eighths inches wide versus the blue streaks two inch and for the total height I can't get in there to measure it. I'm sort of having a hard time holding it for you to see. But I'm pretty sure that the magnet is one inch, uh, one inch thick just by looking at it. And the sizes of the individual blocks are three and a half inches. So you can see also by looking at the space, there's a half inch space in between each block. So you're losing one inch, two inch, two and a half inches of magnet. You're not getting in your entire sweeping width. You'll see if it's even 24 inches to start with. No, it's 23 and a half. So not only are you using lift width on your magnet, but your magnet assembly is not pulling completely evenly because these blocks are spaced out, as you can see that. And you can see how steady it is on the, on the blue streak magnet. And that's the end of the, uh, the magnet assembly portion of this comparison.